hi welcome back to my channel this is a Barbie doll this is Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz movie an old American classic film It's by the MGM Studios this was released in 2006 it was celebrating the 70th anniversary of the film but the anniversary wasn't until 2009 so sometimes they do release dolls early I like the background of this one. It's very nice. She's got Toto. And the back. Pink label means it's most widely produced so it's they're very easy to find this one this is the the guards from the wicked witch of the was the wicked witch of the west so this is an interesting collection it comes with a winged monkey and one of the winky guards they only did that once uh, Mattel has done several Wizard of Oz collections over the years the first ones was in the 90s the face molds didn't quite look as good and they also did it again for 70th anniversary like this one and also the latest one was 75th anniversary when the movie was re-released so it shows you the different labels platinum is less than 1000 silver labels only 50,000 worldwide gold labels 25,000 worldwide and pink labels the most easily found One of the things I like about this type of box is that the front part comes out and the background it does the same thing. And that's her stand so that way you can just display her along with her other friends. So the background is easily removable. You don't have to worry about tearing it. It's got the yellow brick road and munchkin land where the wicked of the witch is dead and they're all free so that part comes out now for some reason for this um, when Mattel did this type of style they actually had a picture of the doll that you purchase which is pretty cool you look at the back just tells you what year it was made it's like a little card you can collect it's just the certificate of authenticity so the actress Judy Garland was only 16 years old when she played the part of Dorothy Gale. Uh, however, she she's playing a younger character. Dorothy in the script was supposed to be 12. But she did a convincingly good job, I must say. I love this face of Judy Garland, or Dorothy's, uh, the face of the Barbie doll. It looks to me like Dorothy from the movie. When they did the 75th anniversary release of the same collection, they did try to match the dolls a lot closer, but I personally like this one better. The basket is removable. It's um, held by a rubber band, which is connected to the handle of this uh, basket. Toto is removable. I'm just going to take it off, see how that just slides right off. And her shoes are shiny. They don't have any sparkles on them, like glitter. But I like how the fact that they chose this metallic red paint because it gives the illusion like it's glittery. And glitter, especially if you play with it a lot or you leave it out, the glitter can come, sometimes uh, it can just come off over time so this keeps it in shape a lot longer without actually losing any real sparkle but it gives it that illusion this is about all her arms can do the waist is a twist and turn back of it a lot of Barbie dolls don't have socks so I like how the fact that they have socks 
And when she dances along the yellow brick road with kind of that skipping motion, the choreographer wanted uh, Dorothy to do some sort of, or shall I say Judy, the actress, to do some sort of dance as she was like walking along. So she, that's how she came up with that. The choreographer lady came up with this dance and the skip that we all know Dorothy does. Like when she does like follow the yellow brick road song. A oh, little fun fact about Toto, Toto is supposed to be a, a boy in, from the original story, but the actor dog that plays Toto is actually a girl. A lot of people don't know that. And the, in the original book, it's supposed to be a, he's supposed to be a Yorkshire Terrier. Forgot what kind of dog they, this, the dog they chose to play the movie was, but this, the dog was in other films before Wizard of Oz. So the type of fabric that Dorothy wears is gingham fabric. That's the pattern she wears. And you know how the beginning of the movie is black and white? When Dorothy lands in the, into the land of Oz, she opens up the door and then reveals the colorful land of Oz. That girl is actually not Judy Garland at all. It's actually a different girl wearing a type of dress to make it look like it's black and white on the camera. And of course she has the dog under her arm and so she, when she steps out of frame she actually gave the dog to Judy Garland who's stepping out and which reveals the all in color dress into the land of Oz. So all, so even though that was done 19, it was <laughs> the late 1930s, released in 1939 like I said, um, they had a lot of cool effects that they just figured out, they just came up with, like the tornado, the motion of the tornado, they actually, the actual final cut you see, the tornado is actually, when they play it, it's actually doing backwards. They filmed it doing a different direction, but what you see is actually like a rewind. But to make it look like a real tornado, they had to uh, rewind it, and that is what you see in the actual final film. So a lot of cool effects. That's very impressive for that era. And that was very surprising when I found that out on our bonus DVD of the 75th, uh, the 70th anniversary DVD, DVD that we have. So that was really cool. I don't know, it was the type of fabric they used to make it look like the camera's black and white because it's like, how do they do that? But it's not, it's not the same girl. And there's a lot of cool facts of, from that movie. This is a pen and bookmark set I saw at Barnes & Noble. They also have a Glenda the Good Witch. I have that one too. The Ruby Slippers of the MGM Studios sold. They sold it for, they try to get rid of like old props and stuff. Well, for the was it 50th anniversary maybe it was the 70th anniversary they actually made actual ruby slippers entirely of real rubies so that was really neat very sparkly if any of you have bonus features of like the DVDs of any movies that you love if you want to know more about them just take some time to watch the bonus features. It's worth a lot. There was more than one Dorothy Gale dress, which makes sense because they could get torn, need to be washed, maybe for an extra, like stunt person. That is all, everyone. Don't forget to keep checking back, and I'll catch you later. Bye.